It's so beautiful. It's really, there's so many blooms now. So many Roselle pods. I mean, they're just ready any moment now to be picked. And still bursting out flowers. So many. It's another beautiful day in the garden. Getting ready for a plasma bath in the sun today because it's out so much. And just kind of enjoying the time I have remaining with these guys <laughs> that have been with me for so long now. I started, all of these moringa trees, I started from seed and milk cartons um, several years ago. So you can prune them on a regular basis. And these were started in pots. So it's really only been two years that they've been in the ground. There are, I guess they're probably around five years old now. And uh, I can actually, you can cut these and root them from branches. Uh, they also call it horseradish tree and you can really smell it in the leaves, like just shaking it here beside me. Mmm, amazing. You can really smell that horseradish. And the vetiver is doing awesome. The purple vetiver. Look at this thing. <laughs> I love it. This is the one that grows the super long roots that I was talking about and you can weave them to make screens for your door and then you or window and you spray it and it's like a natural AC. They still use this to this day in many rural hospitals in um, India and functions better than electrical AC as far as I've been able to tell. So pretty. And uh, yeah, lots of moringa. They're doing really well. If they get watered, and if they're a drought resistant plant tree, but if they're watered enough, they keep producing. So there's quite a few of them. I don't know how many, I gotta count. Some bigger than others. <laughs> it's been interesting. And my other absolute favorite, ooh, little chicks. Uh, my other favorites are, of course, the Indian Borge. This smells so good. And when you get it growing prolifically around your house and you just like rub by it on your way in and out, oh my gosh, you're gonna smell it everywhere. So good and super tasty and really good wound healer. Mm, sparkly on the tongue, like just like oregano. I actually call it Mexican oregano. Wow, powerful and juicy. Um, and the mugwort. Oh my gosh, where's a good spot for it? So it's been growing in the ground along this side of the house here. And here, get in there. And it really tastes good with uh, eggs in particular, actually. And another favorite has been the um, sawtooth coriander. It kind of feels like celery sometimes, like this stalk here and this prickly bits. These are actually kind of thorny. Well, sawtooth coriander. <laughs> yeah. I really like this one. So nice to have. 
So I have little wild patches of it throughout the garden. Everything is kind of wild patches. <laughs> There's a weed in there, but and the basil. Quite a few of them. And the chicks. Hey, the chicks. What do you got to say? What do you got to say? Yeah, they were just dusting in the ash. Hey, were you just dusting in the ash in the fire pit? Chickens are pretty awesome to have around, actually. They really keep the insects down.